Welcome back. In a move that is expected to further cripple Bayasar Congress Chief Jagan Mohan Reddy, the CBI has written to the Andhra Pradesh government seeking permission to attach his properties. This move comes just a week after the CBI moved to freeze the accounts of three large parts of Jagan's considerable empire, Jagati Publications, Indra TV and Janani Infrastructure. The CBI believes that Jagan, one of India's richest politicians with declared ass assets worth 365 crores, benefited from his father's position as a chief minister. After plunging to a record low in yesterday's trade, the rupee recovered by 27 paise to trade at 54.23 against the dollar. Dealers said besides dollar selling by some banks and a higher opening in equity market, gains in the euro overseas against the American currency supported the rupee. The rupee had plunged against the dollar to a historic low of 54.56 before closing at 54.50 in yesterday's trade, the lowest closing ever. Locals of Jammu and Kashmir indulged in protests against increasing crib debts due to negligence by the hospital authorities. According to media reports, an alleged uh, case of medical negligence, more than 300 infants from the age group of 0 to 1 years died in the past five months in Srinagar. The parents of the deceased infants came out in droves and shouted anti-government slogans. Some even vandalized the hospital properties. The protesters urged the health minister to visit the hospital and threatened to file an FIR against the authorities. The provincial government has ordered a probe into the matter. CM Sahib has made a new commission. It is too late. 385 killings are in any other place. The CM has not resigned. It is absolutely unfortunate. At least the health minister must go. Any minister has to go. He must resign on moral grounds. Accept the moral responsibility. And he should not be able to do it. We will do it. We will do it. What will happen? The 385 children who have died. It is about the case of criminal negligence. And we will go to the Thane Pejja, which is the Raman Shibak Consent Police Station. I will be lodged in FIR as a citizen of this state against the authorities of the hospital. Two trainer aircrafts of the Pakistan Air Force collided mid-air and crashed into a thickly populated area in the country, killing four pilots and injuring at least five people on the ground. Residents of the Rashkai area in Novshera district said that the aircraft collided before plunging into the houses. The walls and roofs of the houses collapsed and debris from aircraft lay strewn over a large area. This was the second crash of a PAF aircraft in a week. On May 11th, a Mirage fighter jet crashed near Karachi. And that is a wrap on this bulletin. Stay tuned to NDTV Hindu for more news and updates.